Good morning, beloved. This morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. The Word of God says, The Lord's hand was heavy on the people of Ashdod and its vicinity. He brought devastation on them and afflicted them with tumors. When the people of Ashdod saw what was happening, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy on us and on Dagon our God. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and asked them, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, Have the ark of the God of Israel moved to Gath. So they moved the ark of the God of Israel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to not flee from you or send you away from us because of our sin and our lack of understanding. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Beloved, I'm going to start today with uh, something that has uh, I have seen, and it's a sad, sad, uh, sad thing. A, a person uh, who had just lost a loved one who was not a Christian. And this is a not a Christian family. They grew up in the United States. They they knew about the church, but they had never uh, attended church and uh, heard the gospel and had just lost a family member. And uh, they said uh, in hearing the gospel, well, if, if my family member it can't go to heaven, they're gone. I, I don't want to have anything to do with God. And so they turned around and left. And beloved, it's a, it's a sad state of affairs that people flee from God because of sin. That's what we see today. The Lord's hand was heavy on the people of Ashdod in its vicinity. He brought devastation on them and afflicted them with tumors. They had the ark of God. And so here they are. They, they are facing the penalty and punishment for not worshiping the Lord and having that which they were not supposed to have. Beloved, again, at any time, they could have turned and worshiped God. They had the ark of God with them. They could have given it back to the Israelites. They could have come to God. They could have begged for forgiveness. They could have repented, but they didn't. They kept doing what they were doing. You know, I I often think about Jonah going to Nineveh and the king of Nineveh and the people of Nineveh repenting in sackcloth and ashes. And God relented and did not bring the destruction which Jonah had been sent to warn them of. They repented and God stayed his hand. And the people here today could have repented, but they didn't. What did they do? When the people of Ashdod saw what was happening, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy on us, and Dagon our God. They persisted in seeking false gods. They said, Get rid of God. And beloved, how many times have we seen this happen? There are whole states in our country right now where people are not allowed to go to church for whatever reason, you know, COVID-19 or whatever it is. But beloved, when the government can tell you you're not allowed to have God, we're no different than they were there. The people said, get rid of God. His hand is heavy on us. Why didn't they say, God, forgive us? Beloved, why do Christians sin and find God's hand heavy on them and then not repent. Get mad at God and get mad at the church because of the judgment that they are facing because of their sin. Beloved, we have to guard ourselves. What did the people do? So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and asked them, what shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, have the ark of the God of Israel moved to Gath. So they moved the ark of the God of Israel instead of coming to God. Instead of repenting, instead of worshiping the Lord in holiness, they sent God away. They got rid of him. Beloved, we read this and we know through history what has happened to the Philistines. They're gone. They're no longer remembered except for people that read the Bible. 
You don't hear about them in, in history books. You don't read about them in the great annals of, of conquerors, the, the Genghis Khans and the, the people that conquered the world, the Attila the Hun. Beloved, they're no more remembered because they sent God away. Beloved, what about us? Are you sending God away? Or are you drawing close to him? Beloved, instead of sending God away so that you can worship other gods and, and sin, draw closer to God and make no room for the flesh. Romans 13, 14. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. May God bless you as you go about your day.